Welcome to the latest edition of the Football Clubhouse by Quad Cooper Sports. Let's quickly go through the headlines. Pirlo has been sacked by Juventus and Massimiliano Allegri is going to take his place. Zidane leaves Real Madrid as, being, as confirmed by the club statement. Conte leaves Inter but has not confirmed his future yet. Gini Wijnaldum is a Barcelona player now. He moved to Barcelona from Liverpool as a free agent as he is going to stay there till 2024. It is rumoured that Mathis Delic might be linked with a move to Barcelona, but it all depends on what decision Massimiliano Allegri takes once the league and the pre-season starts with Juventus. Pochettino is in talks with PSG over a dramatic return to Tottenham Hotspurs, and uh, it seems the Spurs have also contacted PSG and Pochettino regarding this particular matter. Pep being linked with Barcelona is a fake news as Pep has cleared out that he's already planning on signing new players in the coming season with his city board. Wilshere has been released by Bournemouth, which of course every football fan saw it coming. Omar Richards, uh, the 23-year-old left-back from Reading, has been signed by the Bundesliga champions Bayern Munich on a four-year-old deal. Now that the transfer news is over with, let's head down to the top stories of today. Villarreal beats Real uh, Manchester United in a very, very hard-fought battle in a KG match. To be honest, one-one and then penalties, which went on to the went on to sudden death till the point that where the goalkeepers had to take the penalty and David Dea missed his chance and cost United their UEL victory. Villarreal being the champions and Una Emery being the manager and Mr. Europa League has yet again won the European champ European uh, League. Now, coming to the outcome and the results of the particular match, Villarreal is uh, in tears, the players are in tears and the players and the fans are enjoying a lot but on the other hand things are not really good things are really getting ugly on the manchester united side first of all marcus rashford has been abused and has been subjected to racial abuse of at least 70 tweets or 70 social media posts which has been confirmed by marcus rashford this racial abuses started just after manchester united lost the uel final moreover all the fans are blaming David Deha and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer for their loss at the UEL final and the hashtag Ole out is currently trending in, in Twitter. To give a take on these subjects, first of all Rashford uh, scenario is a very ugly side of football that every player is facing recently and which is sad to see as uh, racism should not exist in the world moreover definitely not in football and this is something that the authorities should pick up and this is something that the authorities should take seriously and also uh, take steps against this find these twitter accounts get into these agencies and find out who these hooligans are and just uh, do something so that these things are not repeated again and this awareness of this racism being a bad thing should be spread Bringing me to the topic of uh, hashtag Ole out, I think it's uh, a, a thing that's being done by the plastic fans of uh, Manchester United who are very famous and uh, first of all Manchester United wouldn't have been second in the Premier League and in the UEL finals if it were not for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. So for that Manchester United fans should be grateful that he's at least trying his best and also showing results on reviving the club and uh, considering David De has moved, he is a uh, not penalty taker. He's a goalkeeper. Now, if you if you're comparing him with other goalkeepers, it's something not mandatory for every goalkeeper to have be good in his foot. Feet. Of course, Noir did score a goal against Peter Cech, but that's a different story. David De is the reason where for which Manchester United kept the scoreline on their uh, on their greener side because of David De Gea's saves against Roma in the second leg of the semi-final of UEL. If that were not for David De Gea, I think the scoreline or things would have been under a lot of pressure for Manchester United. So David De Gea is definitely being subjected to a lot of blame, but I don't think that is fair on his part because he has done his best for the club. And that's something uh, uh, the fans must acknowledge and appreciate. 
that's that for today and hopefully you liked it please share and subscribe